them holy hands and you can lift them unto God tonight. I dare you to lift up your hands and say,
put your hands together for the Lord. Come on, put your, I know you didn't borrow those hands. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. The Bible says, clap your hands, all ye people, and make a joyful noise unto the Most High God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All other gods, they are the works of man. You are the most high God. There is none like. Come on. All other gods.
your name now. Oh. Higher, higher. Higher, 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 Hallelujah. We bow down and worship. Lord, we came to bow before your presence tonight. Come on, say, I bow down at your footstool, Lord. Yahweh, his name is Yahweh. I bow. Say, I bow before you, Lord. I bow down. I to worship Adonai, to worship Elohim. His name is your Yahweh. Yahweh, I bow. I and worship my grace. Come on, lift up your voice. Let's let's bow and let's worship you. <laughs> Generations after generation keep praising you.
is our finances hey! some of us is our health hey! some of us is our relationships hey, some of us is our families hey, whatever and wherever you need a restoration hey, as we lift our hands in prayer right now ask God for restoration in the name of Jesus in every area of your life Father Lord and you shall dwell safely in the name of Jesus and nobody will make you afraid and you shall never be ashamed in the name of Jesus lift up your hands say Father in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus I ask for restoration I ask for restoration in every area of my in life. Every area of my tonight, life. In tonight, tonight, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, in the name of Jesus. Visit me. Visit me in a very unique way. In a very, very unique in way. In a very special way. In a very special and way. And let there be restoration. And let there be a restoration. In my health. In my health. In my finances. In my finances. My relationships. My relationships. My family unit. My family unit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree by the word of I the Lord. I decree by the word of the Lord. That restoration. That restoration. Even in my ears. Even in my my ears. In the name of Jesus, in the, name of the Jesus. Son of the Living God, the Son of the now Living lift God. up your voice. Father, I pray, lift up your voice and engage in prayer tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as you stand before the Son and Son of God, you want to pray tonight. The Father, restore unto me, restore unto me. Let there be a restoration of all my years. Anything, O oh God, that I have appeared, that I have come from. Father, in the name of 
Jesus. Let it be a restoration. 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 Let your voice be heard. Engage in prayer. It is our time. It is our week. It is our day of restoration. May the Lord restore. May the Lord restore. May the Lord restore. May the Lord restore. Lift your voice and pray. Acts of the Lord. Acts of the Lord tonight. Father, restore me of my years that have been wasted. Restore me of any blessing that has passed me by. Restore me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. How many people have been blessed so far? You have been blessed so far. Amen. 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 How many people want to see prophet back? Amen. Say amen. Amen. The fivefold ministry is very important. God gives the church the ministry of the prophet to reveal. The prophet speaks the mind of God. The prophet reveals things that are hidden from man. Say amen. amen. And sometimes, unless a prophet comes your way, you will live in doom. The Bible says that by a prophet, he delivered the children of Israel mm. from captivity. Yeah. And by a prophet, That's he right. preserved them. That's right. And I pray that wherever you need deliverance, the Lord shall deliver you. Amen. And the Lord shall preserve you. Amen. Come on, shout amen. 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 Let me say it again. Every man of God, every, every prophet knows in part. And so from time to time, what the prophet will tell you is what God showed him. It doesn't mean that that is all that there is. It just means that this is what God has revealed to me right now. Are, are you hearing me? Yeah. Now, the second, the third part of the revelation can come another time. So what you are praying is, Lord, I, I, I just want to know what to do when I receive this thing so I can be able to organize myself well and move in the right direction. Can I have amen? Amen. You know, there are things in your life, unless they are revealed, it will kill you. They live, David lived in famine year after year, year after year. And then he went to God and God said to him, it was because of the bloody house of Saul. It will never have occurred to David that because of what Saul did. Say amen. amen. I want you to open your heart and receive the ministry of my son. Amen. Let the ministry of my son bless you tonight and throughout the week. Come on. Say amen. I want you to, I want to tell you Every time we invite speakers here, most of them, we buy their ticket. Prophet Ernest paid himself, I mean, paid himself to come here. Amen. In Ghana, wait, he came to preach for me in Ghana for one week. He paid himself to come. As, as a man with a heart. Amen. A man with a heart Hallelujah. for God. Come on, put your hands together. So, so, when the Lord is speaking to him for you to do something, you better respond. Amen? Because it's not about your money. It's about what God wants to do in your life. I'm gonna have a man. Very important. Very, very important. You, I, I, I have to let you know that. Amen? And, and I, I love men of God who actually have professions. This servant of God has a profession. He's a pilot. He's an entrepreneur. He has a business. He has a school and all that. But this is what God has called him to do. And he does it. I mean, never have, never ask me for a dime. Never. Amen. He said, I want to come and bless the church. Paid, left his family and his church to come and bless us. Open your heart and let him be a blessing to you. Let's welcome Prophet Ernest tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap offering where 
wherever you are. I don't like that clapping. Come on, clap better. Add a shout to it. Leave your seat and go to someone. Give them a high five and say something nice to them. You are looking awesome. You are looking nice. Grace of God is all over you. The power of God is all over you. Yeah, yeah. The message of God is all over you. Yes, sir. The spirit of God is all over you. That's right. My God. Say it to someone. My you God. look blessed. You're blessed. You look well. You look well. You look awesome. You look awesome. You look fantastic. Fantastic. You look good. You look good. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, say it to someone. Say, you look very blessed today. You look very blessed today. I don't today. like that. I don't like that at all. Say it to someone with joy on your face. Say, you look blessed today. You look blessed today. You look very blessed today. You look very blessed today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us appreciate the man of God of this house, our father. Is that how you do it? Clap your hands properly for the mighty, dangerous bishop. Put your hands together one more time for the grace of God over his life and all that the Lord is using him to do. Amen. Stretch your hands on him as usual and say, Bishop, God bless you. We love you. We will stand with you. We will support you. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your hand and say, we wish you well. Long life. Big blessing. A lot of money. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let us appreciate the first lady, hallelujah. Come on, do it better for the first lady, bishop's wife. Come on, clap your hands better. Awesome woman of God. Bless. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. tenacity, support that you've given Bishop, hallelujah, throughout all these years, amen, amen, are you, are you, are you here, yeah, yeah, help me appreciate the first lady one more time, amen, Glory. so on the um, 15th to 18th, am I right, the living ladies conference, it's 15th to 18th, yes, don't miss it, all right, do not miss it, do not miss it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn around if there is a woman by your side and say to them, do not miss it. <laughs> Even if there is a man, say, say to them, you have to be here. Because some men, you need to come and hear the technicalities of handling a woman. Yehovah. Do you understand me? Very important. Yeah, all that you know is saving money to build a house back home. Jesus. You need to come and learn technicalities. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. hallelujah. Let us appreciate all leaders and pastors of this great vision and commission. Please take your seat and shout, I am in charge. I am in charge. I need your undivided attention. Come on, shout, I'm in charge. I am in charge. Yeah, I need you to stay with me today. Lift up your right hand wherever you are. The Lord assigned me tonight 
to lead us into a serious time of prayers. Are you with me? Yeah, serious time of prayers, praying some dangerous prayers to deal with some people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say, I declare by the word of God. I declare by the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release the fire of God. I release the fire of God. Over my life tonight. Over my life tonight. Any enemy. Any enemy. Enemy of my progress. Enemy of my progress. May the power of God. May the power of God. Chase them away. Chase them away. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout a big amen. Amen. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 18. The word that the Lord gave me today. First Samuel chapter 18, I'll read from verse 6. Now, it had happened as they were coming home. When David was returning from the slaughter of the Philistines, that the woman came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tambourines, with joy, and with musical instruments. So the woman sang. The woman who? They sang as they danced and said, Saul has slain his thousand, and David his ten thousand. Then Saul was very angry, and the saying displeased him, and he said, they have ascribed to David 10,000, and to me, they have ascribed only 1,000. Now, what more can he have but the kingdom? So Saul eyed David from that day forward. And it happened on the next day that a distressing spirit from God came upon Saul, and he prophesied inside the house. So David played music with his hand, as at other time. But there was a spear in Saul's hand, saying, hmm. And Saul cast the spear, for he said, I will pin David to the wall. But David escaped his presence twice. Hey. Lift your hand and say, I will escape. I will escape. I don't like that. Shout, he say, I will escape. I will escape. Say, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What they said at me. What they said at I me. I will escape. I will escape. Get out from your seat and shout, I will escape. I will escape. Look at someone and say to them, you will escape. You will escape. Say, whatever the enemy. Whatever the enemy. Throws at you. Throws at you. You shall escape it. You shall escape In it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Look at them and say, you are escaping sickness. You are escaping sickness. You are escaping accidents. You are escaping You are escaping premature death. You are escaping premature death. You are escaping shame. You are escaping you shame. You are escaping troubles. You are escaping troubles. Lift your two hands and shout, I have escaped. I, I have escaped. escaped. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> My God. I am mount of the rock. The rock is higher than I. Today he wants prophecy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sit down, sit down. A man wants prophecy. I know. I know, I know what he's doing. I know. I know everything he's doing over there. Shout amen. Amen. They were coming out of battle. I'm going straight into it. And the Bible said David was leading, and the woman came out and they started singing. They started singing. They started singing. Let us stand and appreciate the bishop. Franco for Swapia, come on. Stand on your feet and let's appreciate him. Hallelujah. Come on, stand and appreciate the bishop. Hey. Franco for Swapia, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Hey. His bishop's uncle. Hallelujah. Hey. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep clapping for the man of God. My God. In our midst. Great man of God. God bless you, sir. God honor you and increase you. Come on, let's do it one more time for Bishop Frank. Amen. On behalf of Bishop, we welcome you, sir. God bless you for coming to support us. Amen. Amen. Are we glad? Amen. Sit down, let's continue. Lift your hand and shout, I'm escaping. 
I'm escaping. I don't like that. Say I'm escaping. I am escaping. Say every demonic assignment. Every demonic assignment assigned against me. Assigned against me. By the word of God tonight. By the word of the Lord tonight. I am escaping. I am escaping. Look at your neighbor and say, before the end of today, before the you end of shall today, escape. You shall escape. Every evil trap. Every evil assigned trap assigned to you. Assigned to you. You shall escape. You shall escape. Shout amen. 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 So the woman began to sing for David, and they said, David has slain 10,000. And Saul has slain a thousand. And the Bible said, when Saul the king heard the songs and the praises that were being sung for David, he became very angry. Listen to me. Tonight, anybody that has heard your song, mm, anybody mm. that has heard people praising you Jesus. and is angry about that, Come on. by the power of prayer tonight, hey. God is about to arise hey. and fight that battle for you. Amen. Come on, lift your hand and shout, God, God arise, arise and fight for me. And fight for me. Listen, child of God, there are some people whose hearts are filled with wickedness. And the moment they hear that your time has come and God is lifting you, they will turn against you. But I came in an anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. My God. Anybody who has seen your rising in the name of Jesus. or heard your praises in the name of and Jesus. is angry about it, My God. may the power of God arise tonight hey. and overthrow them. Amen. I don't think you came to church. My I God. prophesy over you in the, in the next three days. Hey. Whoever will sabotage your progress come on, come in your workplace, hey. whoever will rise against your promotion, against your next level, against your testimony, may the power of God from this altar arise and defend you tonight. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare over 25 people here. Come on. Listen, it is your time to be lifted. I said it is your time to be lifted. Amen. But if you are not careful, the first person who will hear about your lifting will rise against you. The Bible said Joseph shared his dream, take it off of me, to his brothers. And when they heard his dream, they plotted against him. David has killed 10,000. In the calendars of God, it was David's time. Yeah. Yeah. But Saul heard it and said, no way I will rise against this guy. Lift your hand. The Lord said to me in this conference that my father has put together is for your lifting. Amen. It's for your breakthrough. Amen. It's for your next level. Amen. But if you are not careful, the next person sitting by your side in your workplace will hear the conversation of your promotion come on, and come will on. do everything possible hey. to sabotage you. Jeez. There is somebody in your own house who has seen that your time has come uh, and they are doing all they can to make sure that you hey. stay at the bottom by the power of prayer. May God overthrow those people. Amen. I said may God overthrow those people. Amen. May God overthrow those people. Amen. Clap your hands and shout, I believe. I believe. So, hired David into his house. You can come with your iPad. I don't know. <laughs> into his house. Are you with me? He hated the guy. He wanted him gone. So he brought him closer to his house. Lift your hand. My second prayer for you tonight. Anybody bringing you closer with an evil intention. My God. Anybody trying to sneak my their way my into my your life, my but my they God. have evil intention. May God expose them. Amen. Did you come to church tonight? Hey. I said, may God expose them. Amen. People who are using conversations to lure you into their circle are prophesied by the close of today. Jesus. May God expose them. Amen. May God expose them. Amen. May God expose them. Amen. Clap your hands and shout, they shall be exposed. 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 Him 
Because, sir, lift your hands. This year, hey. anybody hey. drawing closer to you, hey. that is, that, but in their mind, the Bible said, and Delilah was rubbing her hand mm -hmm. in Saul's head, mm -hmm. and the same time, he was plotting to kill him. Where Samson laid his head, instead of it becoming a comfort place, was a setup for his demise. My God. Sometimes you think you found yourself a comfort place, but the devil has set you up. Hey. That is why this conference is being done. Hey. Any setup for you, hey. this year you are coming out of it. Amen. In fact, any pending danger waiting for you, I prophesy you will not show up. Amen. I said you will not show up. Amen. I said you will not show up. Amen. Clap your hands and shout, I will not show up. I will not show up. Are you here? Tap your neighbor and say, Are you here? Are you here? Say after tonight. After tonight. God is getting ready. God is getting to ready. To expose your enemies. To expose your enemies. Then he said, Whilst David was playing music, playing music like the other time. Did you hear that? The Bible said, and David was playing that he like the other time. It means that as he used to play, when Saul was not angry with him, he's still doing the same thing, even though Saul's temperament towards him has changed. But he's playing as normal. In other words, David was playing casually. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot live your life casually. Especially in this wicked generation. Am I talking to you? Yeah. You cannot be, be a casual Christian. Some of you are Christians, but you are too casual. Hey. When we are fasting, you are eating. Hey. When we are praying, Come you on. are sleeping. Jesus. When we are praising, you are gallivanting outside. And yet still, you want God to fight your battles for you. If you become casual, hey. you will end up as a casualty. Hey. But if you change your lifestyle Jesus. and become serious, God will arise hey. and fight your battles hey. for you. Hey. Lift the right hand and say, oh Lord, oh Lord. Arise, arise and fight my battles. And fight my battle. You cannot become casual when you come from such a wicked family. Am I talking to you? Wave as if I'm talking. You cannot become, live your life anyhow. Anyhow. We have, the church is filled with people who live their life anyhow. A Christian like you, you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is look for your phone. Or you look like a suspect. Your face tells me that you are a suspect. Yehua. The first thing it is your phone. Go and check your heart. You are the first suspect. Am I talking to you? You must put your knees down. In this dangerous world. The Bible said the devil is the God of this world. Which means that we are living in a time where evil abounds. The heart of man is dangerously wicked. Everybody's looking for somebody's downfall. If you want to be a powerful Christian, you can't be a casual Christian. Am I speaking to you here? Yeah, if you yeah. want to be a powerful Christian, you cannot be a casual Christian. Look at your neighbor, hold your hand, and say, if you want to be a powerful Christian, you, to be a powerful you Christian. cannot be a casual Christian. You cannot be a casual Christian. Stop living your life anyhow. Anyhow. You play with spiritual directions. Your man of God will instruct you by the inspiration of God and you will take it for granted. I started telling you from day one, if the doctor says, take this medicine. I didn't tell you to say that. You will take the medicine According to the time. Am 
I talking to you? Yeah. Did you ask the doctor how old he is before you took the medicine? Come on now. Come on now. You don't care about it. If you enter a doctor's office and he's 18 years old, it's not your business. You just take instructions and you go your way and you discipline yourself to it. Am I speaking to you? But when a man of God, anointed by God, gives you spiritual instructions, you begin to ask questions. I'm even older than him. Ask questions. Ask questions. But, but if, you, if you become serious with God, the same way you become serious with physical things, the Lord will lift you. Amen. I said the Lord will lift you. Amen. And nothing can take you down. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. The Bible said of the Israelites, the more they oppressed them. Exodus 1 12. The more they grew and multiplied. If you stand in covenant with God, it doesn't matter the oppression that comes upon you. Hey. As long as you're in covenant with God, you will grow, you will expand yeah. despite the battles hey. that you are going through. I prophesy this week, somebody's getting ready to expand. Hey, somebody's getting ready to grow. Hey, somebody's getting ready to be large. Hey, I don't think you're in church. Open your hands and say, I'm growing. I'm growing. Say, I'm expanding. I'm expanding. My blessing is expanding. Bible said, whilst David was playing, Saul had a spear. Did you read that? Behind him. He was playing. Everything he's doing is to make him comfortable. But, but behind the smile was a spear hidden. So he's looking at David and he's enjoying the music. But he has a spear Behind his back. Anybody smiling with you. But has a spear. Mm. Intending to stab you. Hey. May they perish. Amen. Listen, this is a prayer meeting. I oh. said whoever has a spear. Hey. Behind hey. their back. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. While smiling with you. Hey. May God arise. Hey. And fight them for you. Hey. Clap hey. your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. He had a spear. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? The third lesson you must learn is that it is not everybody smiling with you that wants your upliftment. Are you hearing? It's not everybody. Some of the teeth you see is not for smile, it's for biting. It's for biting. Because when you smile, you show your teeth. When you want to bite, you show your teeth. It's a matter of intentions. I pray for you tonight. Whoever has wicked, diabolic intentions about you, concerning you, you're going out and you're coming in, looking for a way to bring you down. Like Saul had a spear. I prophesy, that spear shall fall. Amen. I said, that spear shall fall. Amen. That spear shall fall. Amen. He said, I will pin him to the wall. But David escaped twice. Amen. This week, Amen. whatever has been sent from your hometown, from your father's house, from your mother's house, against your life, I prophesy to you, Jesus. you shall escape. Amen. I said you shall escape. Amen. I'm talking to only two people. I said you shall escape. Amen. Any sickness sent at you, Shout, I shall escape. I shall escape. Jump on your feet and shout, I shall escape. I shall escape. I stand on this altar and I prophesy to you. Any evil agenda sent towards you. Come on, shout, I shall escape. I shall escape. Lift your two hands. Anything I say, you shout, I shall escape. Premature death. I shall escape. I don't like it. Stay with me. Premature death. I shall escape. Road accident. I shall escape. Poverty. I shall escape. Hardship. I shall escape. Pain. I shall escape. Sorrow. I shall escape. Disgrace. 
yes. I shall escape. Come on, jump and shout, I escape. I escape. Shout, I escape. I escape. Jump three times and shout, I have escaped. I have escaped. I have escaped. I have escaped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know what I see? I see you escaping. Amen. Whatever they plan for you, you have escaped it. Amen. There are some people back home conspiring against you, but the Lord sent me to tell you, you have escaped it. Amen. Any plottings in your workplace concerning your downfall, you have escaped it. Amen. Whoever wrote a funeral song for you, I prophesied to you, you have escaped it. Amen. Whoever bought sickness and sent it to you, by the power of God, you have escaped it. Whoever gossiped behind your back and said you will amount to nothing, in the name of Jesus, you have escaped it. Amen. Oh, I said you have escaped. You have escaped. You have escaped. You have escaped. Amen. Watch this. Watch this. He said, and David escaped two times. Two times. How many times? Two times. Lift your right hand. Two times. It means that any time he tries, God delivers him. Any time the devil comes against you, even when you are not a waste. Alright? Because Satan never attacks you when you are vigilant. He waits for the time where you are distracted. Then he attacks you. But by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Bible said, thanks be to God who did not give us as prey to the teeth of our enemies. Which means that if God doesn't give you up, no devil can trouble you. Hey. Am I talking to you here? One thing you must know as a child of God is that all of us, uh, let me say some of us, or majority of us, are afraid of the devil more than God. But what you don't know is that God is dangerous than the devil. Yeah, yeah. Are you hearing me? The way we fear devil. If you come to church and they say, let's pray and thank God. You, you naturally see everybody. But let's pray and kill our family demons. Like an articulated truck without brake. It tells you that everybody, most people, you are afraid of the devil. But if you knew how dangerous God is. Hey. Because if you have problem with the devil, God will fight for you. But you have problem with God. You have tried, have problem with God. And see who will fight for you. Actually, read the Bible last year. I was trying to read the whole Bible and I was figuring out that, Daddy, it's like apart from Job's children, that God allowed Satan to kill. Satan really didn't kill many people in the Bible. It was God. It was God. Read the Bible carefully. He said, And the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord. It means that the first principle you have to learn is that stay close by God. Connect yourself with God. Hey. Covenant yourself. Am I talking to you? Commit your family, your job, your finances, everything you have to God first. 
Because if God does not give you up, no devil can touch you. Amen. I pray for you today. The hand of God is coming over you. Amen. The power of God is coming over you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, may God fight your battles. Amen. on his head and Saul feared David because he behaved himself wisely number two and he avoided Saul look at your neighbor and say some people you have to avoid some people you have to avoid it's not a matter of you are afraid of them no don't get it wrong don't get it wrong don't get it wrong there are some people you have to learn to stay away from them. You have to learn it. It's supernatural wisdom. Some people, you have to learn to what? Stay away from them. Why did God say to Joseph in a dream, carry the boy Jesus and run to Egypt and wait there until I bring you word before you come? Why would God do that? Why would the prophet Elijah prophesy and carry himself by the instruction of God and he went to the brook cherish to hide there? Sometimes, eh, you got to stay away from your hometown small. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Am I speaking to you here? Wisdom. Sometimes, you have to stay away from some people. He said, until I send you word, until I bring you on word before you can come back. It means that until the word of God is full in your heart, mm. huh? mm. some places you don't show yourself. Yeah. 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 Anyway, as for you, we call you always around. Always around. Anywhere you show your face. And any place you eat. Except there is no, in fact, if there is no food, you don't go there. Yehovah. Yehovah. Any place you are there. Mercy. Any place you eat. Everywhere you are there. Wedding, funeral, here, here, here. Any place you show yourself. Except the house of God. Except the house of God. You can't live your life like that. Up your neighbor and say, Stay away from some places. Say, say to them, Say, It is wisdom to stay away from some people and from some places. Some people, eh, eh, when they hear your conversation, that's it. Oh, yeah. There are some people, some of you, small thing. Oh, I'm depressed. I need to talk to someone. So every day you need to talk to someone. Please talk to God. Yeah. If you are looking for someone to talk to, talk to who? God. Am I talking to you here? Tap your neighbor and say he's talking about you. He's talking about you. Say, say it is you he's talking about. It's you. It, it is you he's talking Sometimes, about. Sometimes if you need someone to talk to, talk to who? God. Small thing you pick your phone, you call. Small thing you pick your phone, you call. Small thing you pick up. Hey, hello, 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 Helen. He proposed. <laughs> you see that they will say that they will say, Oh wow, nice. As soon as you drop the phone, they say he will marry you and we'll see. It will never work. Then they curse you behind your back. They curse you behind your back. And, and, and where's our spirits and life? Lift your hand. Are you learning? Yes. We are going to pray. But it's important that you understand spiritual principles. Otherwise, you, you pray in vain. I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus. After this conference and this night's prayer. Get ready for expansion. Amen. I said, get ready for expansion. Amen. Get ready for your next level. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, it said, and David behaved wisely. Lift your hand and say, give me wisdom, Lord. 
Give me wisdom, Lord. Please say it louder. Say, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As a child of God, you need to ask God for wisdom. Did you hear me? For the Bible says, wisdom is a defense and so is money. What did the Bible say? Yeah. Money and wisdom. Mama, it's your defense. God gives you wisdom to, so that you will avoid some troubles. Then he gives you money. So in case you land in some troubles, money answered all things. Lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus, hey. as God defended David against Saul, may the Lord arise tonight and defend you against every enemy that has risen in your father's house, Amen. in your mother's house, Amen. in your place of work, Amen. in your career, in among Jesus. your friends, yes, in your church, yes, any wicked man Amen. who has risen ah, against yeah. you, ah, may ah. the Lord cause you to escape. Amen. Clap your hands and shout, I escape. I escape. Rise up on your feet and give the Lord a clap. Ah, I escape, Lord. You have escaped. Yes. I said you have escaped. Amen. 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 Lift your two eyes and say, I've escaped. I have escaped. Every evil assignment. Every evil assignment. Against me this year. Against me this year. I have escaped. I have escaped. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. As I lift my hand. As I lift my hand. I declare. I declare. By your word. By your word. Any evil plot. Any evil plot. Against me. Against me. This month, this month, this week, this week, this year, this year, I cancel it. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I reverse. I reverse every evil. Every evil assigned, assigned to my house, to my house, to my life, to my life, to my career, to my career, to my ministry, to my ministry, to my future, to my future, to my destiny. To my destiny. I cancel it. I cancel Clap it. your hands and pray. Lift in your the voice. Name of Jesus. Lift your voice you and pray. Rakapata. Shake up what I said. Then you will pull up a pattern. If you like to cancel it right now, let's rack up a pattern. Let's rack up a pattern. Yes, rack up a pattern. Rack up a pattern. Rack up a pattern. Cancel it. Cancel it. Rack up a pattern. Rack up a pattern. Rack up a pattern. Rack up a pattern.
Clap your hands and pray, lift your voice. Pray aggressively. Whatever is passing with me. I command it to dry up. To dry up. Pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus. Pray. is pursuing your life. Lift your voice and pray. We command it to dry up. We command it to dry up. Clap your hands and pray. Let it dry out. 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 Oh, 
Psalm 137, by the rivers of Babylon, yeah. there we sat and wept uh-huh. when we remembered Zion. Mm-hmm. First word, he said, them! Yeah. Every day I will use you. <laughs> Stand here. Them that took us captives. Huh? I started reading about captivity at the time. They tied their hands to their back. Mm-hmm. Huh? And they put a stick in their mouth. This is a stick. Imagine slavery. Do you get me? That stick that holds your ear. So you can't talk. So they they tie your hands and they put a stick in your mouth. So the psalmist said, them that took us captives required of us a song the one who has locked my mouth oh, uh, Jesus. Jesus is, is asking me to sing. Oh my God. My Lord. Oh my God. Wow. The one wow. who has locked my mouth. Mm. The same woman who tied your womb mm. in witchcraft coven mm. comes to you and say, when will you have a baby? Yehovah. Are you here? The same person in your workplace who undermined you so that the promotion keep goes passing you. See you every day and say, and say, madam, why this company, they are not proper. When would they promote you? But it is him. They that took us captive. How can we sing? Lift your hands. Are you here? Yeah. How can we sing when our mouth is tied? I pray for you. Mm. The same people who are responsible oh God. for your predicaments, oh God. who have turned around hey. to be asking you and smiling with you. I prophesy. Yes, Lord. I prophesy. Yes, Lord. I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hey. there is a lady I used to pray for in Freetown, sir. And this lady, a guy has won American lottery. You are tired. <laughs> Let me free you small. I'll come back to you. The guy won the lottery to come here. Proposed to her to marry her. Then three weeks later, changed his mind. Didn't say anything to the lady. Didn't say anything, traveled. And the lady is in pain. So when I go to Freetown as Bishop, you know, she comes to me to pray for her. Pray for her. I was praying for her. And I said, I mentioned a name to her. He said, It's my cousin. I said, Where is she? He said, Oh, he, she told us that she, she's relocating to Ghana. That they're, they're cousin. So I said, Are you sure? Have you spoken to her? He said, No. One year later, only for the family to find out that the guy left. For instance, if it's, if it's auntie here, just for example, say, the guy left this one and has come to take this one who is a cousin to this woman and brought her to America and they think she's in Ghana. Lift your hands. And for one year, this woman will say to their family, what Frederick did to you is not good. But Frederick has married her. Lift your hands. 
them that took us captives. They will undermine you. And they will come to your office and talk with you. And laugh with you. And, and, and comfort you. But they are the one. May the Lord arise. Amen. And expose them tonight. Amen. Say I declare. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, anybody, anybody behind my troubles, behind my as I clap and pray, clap be exposed. Clap, clap your hands and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Confuse my enemies. Say it with all your heart. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Confuse. Confuse my enemies. My enemies. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Confuse. Confuse my enemies. My enemies. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Arise. Arise. And confuse. And confuse my enemies. My enemies. Shout a big amen. 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 Lift your hand and say, I release my blessings. I release, I release my blessings. How many of you here need blessings? Blessings. Oh, blessings. Everywhere. Lift your hands. You should hear Bishop preach about the blessing. Oh, lift your hands. Blessings. 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 He says, he says, it's a spiritual momentum that comes upon you and aids you for accomplishment. Hey. I remember. My lift your God. hands. And the way he you said the momentum. Jesus, spiritual. If you are standing there and you are not blessed, you will be panicking. <laughs> Lift hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. My wife says to me every day when Bishop comes to our place, my wife will say, He's asked for Bishop when he preaches. Are you been panicking? <laughs> Lift your hand. <laughs> the blessing. The blessing. I prophesy. Yes, Lord. The release of great blessings. Yes, Lord. Over your house. In the name of Jesus. Do you know that God blesses by house? Mm. House. May God bless your house. Amen. Amen. That's why you must, you must make sure that you are rooted in this house. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, are you hearing? Are you, are you hearing? hearing? Don't be someone, you are here today, you are here tomorrow. On, you don't belong on. to any house. Yeah. Yeah. 
and the house of David grew stronger and stronger yeah. and the house of Saul yeah. grew weaker, weaker and, and weaker. weaker you have to belong to a house hey. lift your hands blessing is coming over you Amen. Amen. say oh Lord, oh Lord as I lift up my hands, I lift up my hands. In, this atmosphere, in this atmosphere by your word, by your word I, receive I receive all my blessings all my blessings. in the name of Jesus in the name clap of your hands and pray for the blessing Father, I pray release that blessing in the name of Jesus as I lift up my hands and as I pray unto you let there be a release let there be a release of your blessing let there be a release of your blessing MSG. Do you have MSG? Genesis 26 verse 12. Let me read something. We'll, we'll pray and then we'll finish. Verse 12. It said, uh, something I realized this morning. It said, Isaac planted crops in that land and took a huge harvest. God blessed him. Verse 13. Lift your hands. Took a huge harvest. May your harvest be huge. Amen. You, you don't like huge things. You are used to small things. Yehovah. God is not a God of small things. My God. No, 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 no. In fact, in the Bible, there is not even a small church. My God. In the Bible, there is not a small church. When Peter preached, 3,000 men one day gave their life. You read the whole book of Acts, you realize that there was not a small church. Don't stop saying, naked I came, naked I shall go. <laughs> saying that, those, those things. May God give you a lot of blessings. Amen. Look at it. He said, let's read it. The man got richer and richer. Pause it there. By what? By day. He got richer by what? By the day. Who told you that you must be blessed by months? Come on now. It is wrong. My God. Months. You are waiting for 28. Yes. Then they will pay you. That is why you are not blessed. God, when God is blessing you, he blesses by day. Every day, a hey, new blessing. Hey. Every day, fresh money. Hey. Every day, fresh open door. Hey. Who am I talking to? Every day, God must bless you. Hey, Clap your hands and shout, I receive it. I receive it. God reach up by day. Look at your neighbor and say, stop waiting for end of month. Stop waiting for end of month. End of month. End of month. Lift your hand and say, No more end of month. No more end of month. Every day. Every day. A new blessing. A new blessing. Must show up in my house. Must show up in my life. show up in my life. show up in my business. show up in my business. A new blessing. A new blessing. Lift your hand and say, Blessing by day. Bless, bless me by, by day. day. Oh, I want you to say it three times. Say blessing by day. Bless, bless me by, by day. Blessings by day. Bless, bless me by, by day. Blessing by day. Bless me now by day. Now lift your two hands and say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Bless me. Bless, bless me. Every day. Every day. Say it again. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Bless me. Bless me. Every day. Every day. Look at it. He said, until he was very wealthy. Very wealthy. Huh. He he did what? 
Do you know, do you know the meaning of accumulate? Open your hands like that. You, you sit there and say, eh, eh, eh. you misquote it. Money is the root of all. Who told you that? It's the love of it. Huh? You hear me? It's the love of it. But money is not the root of all evil. Isaac, look at him. He did what? Do you know what accumulation means? He piled it up. Yeah, if you speak a uh, Jew, Jew language, Greek or Hebrew, if you speak Hebrew, you say, Jesus <laughs> is Lord. He accumulated. My God. Who's, who speaks Hebrew here? Huh. <laughs> He gathered it. He piled it up. When, when he started accumulating houses, he accumulated. Ah, it shall be your portion. I receive it. I said it shall be your portion. I receive it. You will accumulate a lot of blessing in your house and in your life. Clap your hands and shout, I believe. I believe. I receive. I receive. And, and, and many servants, so much that the Philistines began to envy him. May they envy you because you're overblessed. Amen. Lift your hand and wave it to Jesus. Wave it to Jesus. Give me worship with strength. Give it to me. Lift, wave your hand, Jesus. And I Testimonies all over this place. None be Testimonies all over this place. I will Testimonies all over this place. Worship you. I want us to worship God for 10 minutes. Oh, as long as I
Lift your hands while you are sitting. Receive grace for your next level. Amen. I said, receive grace for your next level. No. Receive grace for your next level. Amen. 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 Oh, Lift your hands. Please stretch your hands on her. I'm going to stand here for you. Stretch your hands on her. A church woman. Church member, serious church member. Stretch your hands here. I didn't say raise your hands, I said stretch it here. The Lord took my spirit to Puna Hafo region. I see 24 people gathered. Shh, don't talk when I'm prophesying. All right. These 24 people, they've gathered in Dua Kwanta. 17 years ago, they changed their meeting grounds to Sunyani, just behind the town market. In the realm of the spirit, I see them discussing about you. And the Lord said, I should pray for you. Because your days of waiting behind the queue has come to an end. Are you jealous or what? Great are you, Lord. Shh. Until you come. I'm going to prophesy to Stand here. The Lord said to me, he's raising a rich man in your house. Uh, the woman in white, come, run, run, run. The same spirit uh, that brought you blessings, the angel of the Lord that came to you said to me, the same demon fighting you is fighting you from a mountainous place that same demon is also fighting you. And the place is around Empryasu Junction. That demon is in the same place fighting you and fighting you. Lift your hands. I don't know which one of you comes from Kwo area. You. You come from Kwo. Stretch your hands on him. I saw my spirit. On the mountain place, at the junction of Empress, going to Obokwe, and the meeting of your family demons, that's where they do it. And the Lord said to me, today, by the anointing in this house, for the past 10 years, they have been planning how to stop you from achieving everything you want to achieve. But the Lord said, through you, he's going to bless your son, and he's going to bless your daughter. How many children do you have? You have three. Do you have a daughter? Do you have a son? Daughter and two sons. Your last son. Stretch your hands here. Your last son. Your last son. Where are they? They are in this church. Why are you sitting there? Stand. Roche for the stand. Can I prophesy? <laughs> Lift your hand, darling. Stand. Do you know that you are a millionaire woman? What did you learn in school? Nursing. nursing. So you are a nurse. Stand here. Stretch your hands on her. Bishop, she says, ten, ten. she says she's a nurse. But the Spirit of God is speaking to me that God will not bless you because you're a nurse. God will bless you with 27 restaurants. <laughs> Thank you.
Guys, why, why are they clapping? Just rest. Free to say it in the mic. Okay, so like um, I was doing private chef services on the side. And private was, chef. Yeah. And so I was hoping that one day I could like open a restaurant, but. You were hoping. I'm telling you by <laughs> prophetic order. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Stretch your hands on him. The Lord opened my eyes. 27 cities. You are going to have restaurants across every one of the cities. Amen. Oh, yeah. Lift your, your, your face. Open your eyes. Stretch your hands here. Because you, where's the mother? Your mother, father, anybody? Why? Are you? Come and stand here then. Wonderful. Hold your daughter's hand. Listen. This girl, when you gave birth to her, something told you that she will be a rich woman. And you started, you, you started telling her to buy a house early. <laughs> Clap your hands for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You told her that. Every time you said it to the point where she got tired of listening to you. And by the time, how old are you? You are 30. Minus 6 is 24. God gave you a house. Yeah. Is it true? Am I speaking the truth? Stretch your hands here. It's a sign for you to know that God is going to give you something bigger. Amen. Don't, from today, don't hope that you are going to believe and start working on it. What's your name? Alexis. Alexis. So it's A-L-E-X-I-S. Yeah. That's how you spell your name. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, your restaurant is going to be called Lex. <laughs> <laughs> Give the Lord a clap of it. <laughs> Take off your shoe. This is your black and white shoe. And let me anoint you. And Bishop will pray for you. Because your blessing requires apostolic establishment. Two, 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 two. Can we stand on our feet? This is a covenant. I'm coming. Wait for me. Today, I don't know why. It's just blessings. Only blessings. Every blessing. The distribution of testimonies. Miracles. Give me the oil. You know, don't cover the oil again. Good. Uh -huh. Next time, Bishop is going to Ghana. Follow him. So when I come to preach, I will teach you how to handle oil. You don't trouble Bishop here again. Jesus! Jesus! I'm not married. No, I'm in August. Huh? In August, I'm getting married. You're getting married in August. Mm -hmm. This year. Mm -hmm. Where's the boy? <laughs> or the it's man? The man. He's the there. man. Where's the man? Come, sir. <laughs> you, you're marrying in August. Yeah, sure. I want to confirm. I'm positive. Yes. I'm positive. <laughs> yeah. I'm positive. Positive. My place, they say positive. So you say positive. Hold the hand of this man. Listen, this woman, look at me, sir. She will be a very great woman. She carries destiny. Don't, don't, shh. don't by any means eh, 
I'm saying this to you in front of Bishop and everybody. One day, let her abandon her dreams. Do you hear me? Let her pursue it. Because I see her name all over TV channels. All over. And you will not only be a rich woman, or you will not only own restaurants, you are going to be somebody that is a, a philanthropist. That means you will give scholarship to people from Africa to come to school in this country. So do you understand that? You have a responsibility to play in her life. Stretch your hands on her. We are praying intensively. Go ahead, kneel down before Bishop. Kneel down before Daddy. Come on, release prayer. Oh, release prayer. Release prayer right now. Release prayer right now. prayed for you has cancelled any curse that comes from your father's side against you it's cancelled alright it's cancelled listen every day don't miss church and when you marry don't run away from church because there is a spiritual entity that doesn't agree to your marriage. Yeah. Right from, eh, right from 1992, 11th September. Right from 11th um, September, 1992, midnight of Friday, you gave birth to her on a Friday. Clap your hands for Jesus. Yeah. It was a Friday. And that midnight, all your family demons did the meeting. Yeah. And so, this is your marriage. On the 10th of September, last year, uh, they met again that they will not agree. What did you say? That's when you proposed to marry her. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hey. Yeah. We stretch our hands and we cancel that meeting. Jesus. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost her destiny will be manifest. In the name of Jesus, no devil can touch you because of the anointing over my father's life and living for church. Your life will be blessed, lifted, and prosperous. Shout hallelujah. Your name is great and great. 
know Sunyani or you don't know Sunyani. That's where you come from. Sunyani Dumasi. Stretch your hands here. Any meeting against you is cancelled. Amen. Amen. Uh, are you sure? Rosalind. Rosalind. It's you. The Lord said, if you are Rosalind, uh, today, you have moved from the back. Amen. Yeah. I see an envelope come to you. Now, surprisingly, the envelope came to first lady's hand. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. I don't know why, but, but an envelope came and I saw that it came to your house. To your hand. And you took it. It's for her. Can I profess her here? Oh. You want me to stop? I should stop. Stretch your hands. When I say it's offering time and you don't know and you sit down. Me and you, it will not be well with us at all. No, no. We will be fighting here. Stretch your hand. When I say prophecy, I say, yeah. When I say offering, I want you to say, yeah. yeah. Do you understand? Good one. Calabasa. Stretch your hand. Uh, mama, your time has come. Amen. Oh, your time has come. I place my hand on you. Any pot that has been buried. They buried it in 1992 Jesus. against you and they vowed that you will never come home. But the Lord says to me, that evil is broken Amen. right here in this church. Jesus. You are going to see the victory of God Amen. over your life. Amen. I lay my hand on you. Yes. Jesus! Jesus! Oh, give the Lord a clap offering here. Stretch your hands on this family. Stretch your hands on this family. You said this is the last one. The last son. Stretch your hands. We are praying for them. Yeah. Shh, stand. You, you stand. Let me tell you something. Be careful. Watch your life. How old are you? 19. 19. Watch your life. Huh? Did you born him here? Have you taken him home before? You left him home for how many years? Four years. Somebody fed him something. Stretch your hands here. Somebody fed him a biani. Food. Sorry, when I speak Hebrew, don't. Food. Yeah, they fed him food that, that was meant to slow him down. Don't you notice that he was faster when he was younger than today? Oh yeah, his academic level has slowed down. But after today... Oh... Slow down. Jesus. It's catching fire. Amen. Huh? This girl will walk into your life. This girl. Read my lips. This what? This girl will walk into your life. She's she's of the devil. Stretch your hands here. You are 19. 21. 21. I won't say what I want to say. Stretch your hands. Say we are bought it. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. When the girl stands in front of you, 
Uh, she will be exactly here. Height. Exactly here. Do you hear me? Yeah, five foot two. Watch it carefully. You understand? Because if she gets pregnant, your destiny is finished. Stretch your hands here. Say we are bought it. We are bought it. Yeah. Yeah. Her father is from Trinidad. Her mother is from Jamaica. Her name will be called Debbie. Are you hearing me? If she walks into your life, pick up your shoe. Jesus. Be loose. You will not fall into demonic traps. And set you loose. Give me your hand, madam. Stand. Put this oil down. And give this girl a high five, strong one. Do it again. Do it again. Stretch your hands. God is transferring career from you to her. Can I prophesy? God is moving career. So whatever you do is coming over you. What do you do? You are an attorney. We say lawyer. Where I come from. Lawyer. What do you want to do? You are in law school. Clap your hands for Jesus here. Come on, give the Lord a clap offering here. Come on, shout hey! Shout hey! I anoint you. This your heart is too big. Jesus! Transfer of grace. Amen. Oh, yeah. 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 Stretch your hands. Anointing is here. Sure. Anointing is here. Say, oh Lord. oh, Lord. You know what I see? I see 32 people here. Huh? Getting intensively huge miracle in the next seven days. Give me them. Listen. Give me exactly 32 envelopes. You are going to sow a seed of just $200. Quickly, run to me. If you want to be part of it, 32 people. Seriously, I see. Come and take one from me. And I want you to kneel down on this altar, top here. Kneel down there. Go and throw that seed. Quickly, take one. Take one. Take one. Jesus, what is this? Jesus, quickly. So that seed. $200. Run to me. I want you to believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Don't just sit down. Just say thank you, Lord. Yeah, you can do Zell. Shh. Let me ask Bishop before. You everything. Zell, PayPal, whatever. Do it and, and fill the back of the envelope. They will know. Quickly. <laughs> Quickly. I've got three more. Don't sit down. I want you to come and take it. And sow that seed. Four more. Don't sit down. Stretch yourself. There's a testimony coming. Three envelopes in my hand. Thank you, Bishop. I have come. Two. Come on. Give back to you. Four more. Four more. Four more. I have come. To give back to you. Go and do it. Go and do it. Be serious and change your life. To say thank you, Lord. Be 
If you've done it, go and kneel down on this altar. Go this way. Pass this way. Climb the altar and kneel down here. Around the altar here. I want to pray for you quickly. seven people here, a year by now, God will give you another house. Amen. House. Anointing Amen. to have your own property. Amen. This church, you don't need properties. Amen. If you are here and you are believing God to have a property, receive it! Receive. In the name of Jesus, Amen. rise up on your feet and shout, my life is turning around. My life is turning around. My life is turning around.
I pray for you. Anybody here that is struggling to sleep, the Lord is giving you peace. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pick up, if you haven't sowed a seed, you couldn't do the 200 and you can do a seed of $50. $40, $30. Pick it up and run to the altar. Let me lay my hand on your head. Listen. Door is gonna Pick that seed and run to the altar. A seed of $20, $30, $40, $50, $60. Pick it up. Kalabasa, katalabasa. And run to the altar. I'll lay my hand on you. Receive. 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 Give it to me. I'll receive it. You are blessed. That your son. Yeah. Blessed. 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 Put on the altar and shake my hand. Blessed. 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 you and giving you favor for your next level. Bless. Bless. Give me your hand. Bless. Bless. Come on. Come and shake my hand. Bless. And let's bring the service to an end. Clap your hands for Jesus. Bless. Bless. The Lord bless you. you cause his face to shine on you 
favor you in all things. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to tomorrow's instruction. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I want you to take your time and write 10 things you want God to lock and take away from your life. Do you understand? How many things? Make a list. 10 things you want God to shut and take away from you. Then take your time and write 10 things you want God to open for you. Is that okay? And bring it with you tomorrow. Okay? Bring it with you when? And invite people. And the power of God will come through. Amen. Clap your hands. Let's receive my father, Bishop. Thank you, come on, put your hands together. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, my, my uncle is here. Come on, put your hands together. My uncle is here. My, my uncle was with Pastor Asma in New Jersey over the weekend. And I'm so happy to have him. You know, I can't let him go without... He pronouncing a blessing upon us. And tell him he owe us this year. How many people know he owe us? He has been trying to, you know, every time we, we talking, he's escaping. But this year, I won't let him go today until he gives me a date. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, my own uncle, Bishop Frank, put your hands together. I'm sure you've been blessed tonight, haven't you? I said, I'm sure you've been blessed tonight. Yes. Why are they looking at me like that? <laughs> Lift up your right hand. You know, when God's servants speak, they release some things in the atmosphere. As we are in this room tonight, Fox News is here, CNN is here, BBC is here, but you can't pick them up because you don't have the antennas to pick them. In the same way, blessings can flow. But if you don't have what it takes to download them, you don't get them. But tonight, every blessing that has been declared by the father of this house and by the prophet in this house, may you download it into your spirit. Spiritual blessings, financial blessings, relational blessings, business blessings. Career blessings. Amen. Download them into your spirit. Amen. And as you go home tonight, Amen. the eternal God be your refuge. Amen. And need be the everlasting arms. Amen. May no enemy bypass your defenses. Amen. May no spirit look, locate you. Amen. God Almighty do you good. Amen. Cause songs of laughter and rejoicing to be heard Amen. in your dwelling place. Amen. So we have declared. Amen. And so it will be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, agree with me and say amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. So, we're going to share the grace. You still have your offering. Once we finish sharing the grace, I want you to come and drop it. Don't miss the meeting. A lot, a lot of our people are not here. Call them. Tell them they are missing out. They shouldn't miss it. Make sure this is once um, God, I keep on telling you, when God wants to do something very unique in your life, he will send you a man of God, a prophet, or he will send a prophet to you. It's one way or the other. It means that God has something unique to do in your life. Can I have amen? amen? Make sure you don't miss these services for anything in the world. God richly bless you. Lift up your two hands. Let's share the grace together. Surely, all the days of our life. God bless you. You took an envelope yesterday. Bring it to me. You know what I'm talking about. Bring it to me. Yesterday, you took an envelope. Come and put it in my hand. That particular.